this is the most consequent, not because I'm running, but because who I'm running against, this is the most consequential election uh, in, a, in a long, long, long time. And the character of the country, in my view, is literally on the ballot. What kind of country we're going to be? Mm -hmm. Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find ourselves in a position where if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be in a different world. And uh, and so so, folks, that clip is the new source of controversy just about a week before the election. A lot of Trump supporters are sharing this clip around and it's gone viral, supposedly saying that Joe Biden has mistaken Donald Trump for George W. Bush, basically saying we can't have four more years of George. And he says George a couple times there before correcting and going to Trump. And now the argument from Trumpers is that, you know, this is another sign of Biden's cognitive decline and dementia. He doesn't know where his mind is. He's stuck all the way back in the mid 2000s and we're all here in 2020. But what none of them are saying is that the host of this event, the person he's talking to is George Lopez, a person who has the name George. And so while, yes, he does kind of get tongue tied there, he's almost certainly talking to George Lopez about needing to stop Trump rather than confusing Donald Trump with George W. Bush, you know, the president that preceded the Obama Biden years. That's my view, at least. And again, I'm not an ardent Biden defender. If you go over the long history of this channel, I've been more critical of Biden than most people. And I have pointed out more than a few times the obvious signs that Joe Biden doesn't have all the mental capacity you might want from a president. I've done that with Donald Trump, too. And frankly, most American people, there was polling done just a few weeks ago, a couple of months at most ago, that said a majority of American people don't think either of these men are fully mentally fit for office. So I don't think it's beyond the pale to talk about these issues at all. But Trump supporters hunt for any small little clip with the most minimal of context to try and paint this image of Biden, when in reality, their guy is also off his rocker, if anything. Don't forget, this is the guy that bragged about knowing what an elephant is. He's the guy that bragged about being able to subtract by seven down from 100 to 70 something. This is the man that called Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, you know, the tech company, he called him Tim Apple. Certainly, that's a sign of cognitive decline, perhaps some dementia as well. And that was years ago. Look, I get it. I get that you know Trump supporters are desperate. I get that there is a kernel of truth to the Biden is not what he was earlier in his life narrative. I get that. But their desperation is really seeping through here. 100%. There are so many better clips of Joe Biden showing these issues and they choose the most outlandish ones because they're just scrambling for anything. They're scrambling for anything. And again, I have to underline this. It's not like the Dem the Republican candidate is a spry 55 year old. This is not Mike Pence versus Joe Biden. If you want to make this about mental fitness or physical fitness or dementia or cognitive decline, maybe don't have a candidate that calls people Tim Apple that can't walk up and down a ramp and that can't hold a water glass without two hands. If you want to make this about fitness, I think that Biden, however weak he is, is going to be stronger in the minds of a lot of people than Donald Trump. It's a low bar, but Biden can probably just crawl over it.